Hello everyone, this is Stevio here. Today we are on Midwest Horizons and we got seasons. <laughs> you see seasons is loaded into our save game so I did have a little bit of trouble so but ended up getting it loaded finally so I had to actually cut down a lot of trees so there's certain trees so I think these are the birch uh, one of the tree load the tree mods they have it just doesn't work with seasons it's weird because the other birch uh, mod I have does so a little bit weird you hear that that's the wind in the background we got a lot of wind blowing here our lapacho tree is still pink but otherwise all of our other trees are starting to brown or golden as they say so I fast forward it to about where we were when we left off so we started harvesting the corn and everything so we're about in mid fall I would believe the problem is is to make sure season works good with your save game you have to reset all of your crops so all the crops we had planted all the crops we had prepared are now deleted so that's unfortunate but just to make sure there's no hiccups or anything like that usually you just reset all your crops our feedlot the cattle are doing good they are now 1.4 years old so that's where you get to see how old they are so cattle actually get older so these are all males the M stands for males obviously so they're just for fattening that's basically that's all we wanted anyways uh, they are full and everything so it's a good thing about seasons it it tracks that too and another good thing about seasons they have what they call here a water pump so it fills up your cattle's water all the time to make sure they don't die because cattle will die in seasons so you have to be very careful you have to be a very good manager look like they're a little lazy too a lot of them are laying down so for all male cattle, they sure have a lot of udders, don't they? That's weird. So, you put down one of these pumps by each one of your fill stations, and basically they'll keep your water at 15%. To me, well worth it, and more realistic in my book. So I'm going to have to get b go back and uh, grind down all these stumps. So these birch tree mods, they're good, but the other ones, they're basically, they just stay green, so, which made it kind of weird, because you get golden trees and green trees. So, the one good thing is our fields of grass are still prepared, so I would like to actually plant them. So, we're going to get that started. And also, we got to get fall tillage started. We got a lot of conventional till crops, basically, that got deleted because of seasons, but it's okay. So we'll take this over. I'm going to hook up to the drill. start planting our grass so that we definitely need some grass to keep up with these the feedlot 
So this map, the map author Texar is actually working on a season ready for this map. It's not, this map isn't fully seasons ready. It still works with seasons, but that the map uh, season ready uh, Midwest Horizons hasn't been released yet. So basically, waiting for that. Uh, obviously, it still works good. Don't know. I'm really hoping that the save game works because my save game did not work with Automote. So I'm hoping this one works, especially with the uh, new Seasons version. Uh, Midwest Horizons. So we are finally back here, so I had to actually skip. I don't know if you just can't plant at the end of fall or you can't plant in fall period. According to our map, we can plant, but it wasn't allowing us, so we ended up skipping till early spring. So we have a lot of stuff to get done. Basically, we ended up skipping only because we don't I didn't have anything to do because of where we left off we were basically ready for harvesting and planting grass so I was just waiting for that to happen so that's the reasons why we skipped ahead there wasn't anything for us to do anyways so we're gonna have to watch the cattle make sure they're okay otherwise we're just going to get these fields planted with grass because we need to take care of the cattle. So enjoy this little time lapse. I really like this Great Plains three section drill here. We'll end up doing four headlands on this weird shape field here. Get a little inside the cab action. Now we'll start the up and down rows. So I used a skip row course so we don't have to turn so sharp. Doesn't look like course play was reading it correctly because them are awful short small paths in between. Now we're headed back the opposite direction to get everything we missed. Means this will be a grass field, we'll make sure everything gets planted. Now we'll head to the next grass field. We got our other field we just purchased, so we're planting this too. We're trying to beat the weather. If you see, we got a little snow coming in, isn't going to really 
hurt this grass seed as long as we get it inside the soil so it can withstand a little frost. So we also need to get some tillage started so we can start planting. We still have the 99RX, so we'll use it to our advantage and start chiseling up these old sunflowers that we got nothing for. Looks like the neighbor lost out on his uh, corn crop over there too. That's unfortunate. We'll also start our 9RT old reliable. So on another field we didn't get to harvest. It was a bad year for us last year. We'll survive though. We will start a little time lapse now. Which tractor do you like better, the 9RT or the 9RX? I think I prefer the 9RT. We are still completing our headland passes around this field. This field definitely has a few waterways that we need to address. A little inside the cab of the 9RX. really like how all the windshield wipers work in FS19. Definitely got to beat the snow for this spring tillage. Jump into our planning rig. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest. We are going to skip a pass or a row in this field. We don't have a plan in the night is young. It doesn't matter what we do. There ain't nobody like. There ain't nobody like. You look so beautiful. So we need to fill this up. We've got a load of uh, seed and fertilizer coming from the shop. Just picked up. Should be here any minute. We just got to wait a little while for it to show up. I'm trying to get this in before it gets too blizzardy. See, it's really coming down 
This is the second day in spring, so we still got some weather that could possibly hit us, but grass is pretty tolerant. Here comes our seed. Seed just showed up. So, pretty nice pickup if you ask me. So, check this bad boy out. XLT 354. I believe this is the 70s time frame. So, definitely got one heck of a good looking custom flatbed on it. Get this thing shut off. Alright, now we gotta fill up our seed quickly. We need to get this planted. Uh, we won't worry about the the seed actually we'll just put in some fertilizer so we can get started quickly ran out right over here now that the planters back filled up with fertilizer we better beat the snow Made a little hardened pass here so I can have a little pass back into my acreage. We're almost done with our back 40. Looks like the planter's over halfway done. Line RX still doing headlands. Man, did we lose a lot of crops this year. So the 9RT just finished. It had the smaller of the two chiseled fields, so we're going to just finish do that one today and get on to our other field. I think we still have one more field we need to chisel up, preparing for planting, or a little planter prep. That's some weird looking uh, wheat over there to the side. I think that's soybeans. It's definitely not a good color for soybeans. Some crop, somebody's crop definitely lost out over there. This over to our left is where we did have corn at, but that was destroyed with seasons, so we'll have to actually chisel that up too. So I think we'll just leave this down in the bottom shed here for the next day. Should fit in here just nicely like glove.
9RX just started the up and down rows. We'll clean up what was missed on the corners here. Also clean up what was missed by the plant and tractor here. Head into our back acreage here. Looks like we have to fold up the planter just so we can get back between the trees. Shouldn't take us long to plant this acre. Now we just have a few acres left in this field. That looks like we're done. We got it planted before we got covered with snow. So we are just finishing up this little bit we have left on this field. So we're just finishing up what the worker missed on the corners. Missed just a little turning around. Just got a tad. Man, it's really been snowing. Luckily, none of it's been accumulating. So we still have a lot of field prep to do. So that's good. Hopefully we can get back into the field tomorrow. We'll have to look at the ground temperatures. Also we'll have to make sure our cattle are all right. Just don't know. Maybe I can get it in one more pass. It's going to be close. Let's see. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. So this will probably be the last day for the demo of this John Deere 9RS. So I have a dealer calling, so there's probably going to be another demo here coming soon to the farm. So don't know if we'll end up purchasing it, but at least the dealer is going to take this one back fold up looks like we might have to get this chisel into the repair shop too so we've got a big chunk of our spring tillage done so I'm happy for that get this taken over Looks like our planter, our seed is back. We'll have to get our seed under cover. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later in Ohio.